Hey everybody, um, I'm back. I figured I would let you guys know what was going on and actually give you something more to look at other than just me talking. Um, so I'm going to talk to you while I go over this whole situation we're dealing with. So here we go. Alright, this is our vehicle. It was in an accident um, on August 10th. My husband spun out on the freeway and slammed into a guardrail at 60 miles an hour on the driver's side rear. So basically this entire quarter panel, the entire hatch, everything was crushed in. Um, well not the entire thing, but basically um, from this part back was just like concave into the hatch. Um, they did a generally good job. I mean you, can, you can't really tell from a first glance that it's been in an accident. Um, but let me just show you a few things close up. Um, now just take note, take note, this is flush on this side. This one was uh, the side that they were placed. Um, yeah, Acura, we love it, okay. Um, and this gap is consistent all the way up on this side. Now, if we go to the other side, look at this quarter panel. It's like against this light right here, and it looks like it's been painted on the light. And there's the gap right here is a little bit wider, and it's a little wider down here. So, like, it's a little inconsistent. There's something off about this entire panel, I guess, um, because the hatch seems to be installed correctly. Um, we have some concerns about these gaps because um, there was water in the bottom of the hatch. Whenever we, le whenever I left the shop, I heard water sloshing around. I thought it was like a water jug in the back, so I didn't think about it. Um, but then whenever I got out to the car to go to work yesterday, I figured, you know, I kind of had a feeling, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and check it. And it was actually water in the bottom of the hatch. Um, but luckily, the stereo system has not been affected. But still. Okay. Now on the front bumper, take note of this one. Everything's in order. Everything's aligned correctly. This is flush. Okay. Now if we go to the other side. Whew. We got a little gap here. Like, that's a substantial little gap. And this is, like, crushed up against the headlights. And there's a gap here now. So, I mean, this, this gap is consistent, you know. Um, but if you look over here, it's not as big. Like, there's a small gap right there. And it's bigger on this side. And that's, like, half a centimeter's difference. So, like, on the back hatch, the different sides of the, uh, of the window on the hatch are maybe a quarter centimeter off, but on the front it's been half a centimeter off. So I have to wonder, you know, was the entire frame twisted when my husband slammed into a guardrail at 60 miles an hour? I have to wonder, and the guy at the shop was claiming that this is from another accident, all this kind of stuff, but I don't know, I'm just not buying it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, what else? There's a little bit of bubbling on the paint, it's not smooth, um, and we're still testing the suspension to see to make sure that if they did mess with the suspension that that it's still back to being, you know, the way it should be. I just, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like there's a larger gap um, on the driver's side rear than on the passenger. So I'll let you guys take a look at this, okay? And then I'm going to show you the other side because it seems like it's higher on this side. I don't, they, they said that they didn't mess with the suspension, but I kind of have to doubt them on that. And so my brother's a mechanic, or we're thinking we're going to have him come over and check everything on the suspension, make sure that nothing tore or broke, and if they replaced anything, that they did it with upgraded A-spec parts, because, I mean, they were mindful enough to replace it with the A-spec badge, yes. But did they get all the A-spec parts? That's the question. So, anyway. That's pretty much a lot of the uh, the body damage um, there was also a bunch of chips on the front of the car, like these right here. These are new. Um, these were not on the vehicle before the accident. These are below the primer, and they have not started rusting yet, which tells us that they are actually quite new because it's been raining like crazy here in Houston for the past week. And the car was at the shop over, over Labor Day weekend because we couldn't get in to pick it up when they said it was ready on Friday. So, anyway. There's just, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, yeah, just if you guys want to give feedback, 
You're welcome to. If you want to uh, give us suggestions, you're welcome to. Um, I'm open to anything at this point. Anna, come here. Yeah, she's going to go go for a car ride with the neighbors. No, come here. Come on. Yeah. Say hi, sweetie. Say hi. We're checking the car. Huh. Anyway, yeah. So, that's the deal. Um, if you guys have questions or you want more information, just let me know. I'm feeling kind of scatterbrained right now. It's been kind of, it's been really annoying. People seem to think that just because I'm a woman, I don't know anything about cars, and that they can pull one over on me. And I'm just like, that's so disrespectful. That's so stupid. Because, quite frankly, I grew up with three brothers. My brother's a mechanic. My other brother works at the shop that he works at. You know, I got, so I basically have two brothers that are mechanics, but the other one's more computer-minded. So I don't consider him as much of a mechanic. Um, but yeah, so, and my grandpa's worked on cars. I've helped work on cars. I changed out suspension on our Civic, okay? And I ch helped to change the suspension on my Prelude when we had it. I know how to change my own oil. I know how to check the fluids. You know, there are, there are little things that, you know, they're, they're common knowledge, but at the same time, I guess a lot of women don't know them. So people just assume that because I'm a woman, I know nothing about cars, which I know enough to get by. And I know enough to know that, you know what, this guy's kind of BSing me, you know? I don't believe him and I don't trust him. So anyway, feedback, any, anything would be appreciated. So anyway. We'll catch up with you guys later.